Hmm? Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to give you guys a behind the scenes look at how I made my Y Coyote and Runner video. Almost every scene of the whole video was shot against either a green, blue, or pink screen. I did this so I could create a bigger backdrop than I would be able to otherwise. I used just about every single uh, light nougat and dark orange brick I had to create even a small scene like this one, so I have very little of that color. And most people do, I think. I just did what I could with the pink screens and everything else and keying it out. One of the most important things whenever you're keying something out is making sure your backdrop is evenly lit. Your green, blue, pink screen, make sure it's evenly lit. It's really important. I was lucky enough to have an old TV on hand that I could use, and the TV lights itself evenly without the use of any extra lights. So that was very, very useful. In the scene when the coyote jumps on top of the roller skates in order to blast away down the road, I used a, a bread tie and a flexi tube in order to help him jump onto his roller skates so I could have more frames in between him uh, taking off the jump and landing on the roller skates themselves, which makes it look extra smooth when you play it back. I also spent a lot of time keying and making sure the key looked good. I know my keys never looked really that great, but they looked better after I tinkered with them. In the scene where the coyote runs off the cliff, I just masked out the support that was holding him in midair in Final Cut Pro, which was really easy and a lot of fun to do. I really enjoyed making that because it made it look like the cartoon. I hope you guys take something that you learned out of my video and put it in your own videos in order to make your stop motions better, and I hope I can learn from others as well. I really hope you guys enjoy this video, and we'll see you next time at Dynamic Productions. Thanks for watching.